Welcome to a Lent Meditative Compline for Tuesday, March 21st, 2023. As you prepare to listen, breathe in a slow cleansing breath to help center and ground yourself. Then, slowly exhaling out all the busyness of the day. As you continue to breathe in and out, Relax into a comfortable position. Once you are comfortable, be still, being aware of God's presence that has always been there for you. The sound of the meditation bowl announces the opening moment of silence. Call to prayer. O God, come to our assistance. O Lord, hasten to help us. The Holy One grant us a restful night and peace at the last. Amen. Our Lent night hymn, Fast Falls the Night. Fast falls the night. Stay with us, Lord, and banish every care and fear. When all we trust it fades or fails, help of the helpless, you are near. Our lives run swiftly on toward death. Our strength shall ebb, our glory pass. Let sleep rehearse us night by night to rest in you, O God, at last. Our confession and assurance. O most holy and beloved, our companion, our guide upon the way, our bright evening star, we repent the wrongs we have done. We have wounded your love, O God, heal us. We stumble in the darkness, light of the world transfigure us. We forget that we are your home. Spirit of God, dwell in us. Eternal Spirit, living God, in whom we live and move and have our being, all that we are, have been, and shall be, is known to you, to the very secrets of our hearts, and all that rises to trouble us. Living flame, burn into us. Cleansing wind, blow through us fountain of water well up within us, that we may love and praise in deed and in truth. Join me in a time of silence. We are a forgiven people. Thanks be to God. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Psalm number 4, verses 7 and 8. You have put gladness in my heart, more than when grain and wine and oil increase. I lie down in peace, at once I fall asleep. For only you, God, make me dwell in safety. 
Glory to you, O Trinity, most holy and blessed, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our scripture reading comes from Ephesians chapter 3, verses 16 through 19. Out of the rich treasures of divine glory, may God strengthen you inwardly with power through the Holy Spirit, and may Christ dwell in your hearts through faith, and as you are rooted and grounded in love, may you, with all the saints, be able to grasp and to know the breadth and length and height and depth of Christ's love that goes beyond all human understanding so that you might be filled with all the fullness of God. Holy Wisdom, Holy Word, thanks be to God. Colic. O Lord, support us all the day long of this worrying life until the shadows lengthen and the evening comes and the busy world is hushed and the fever of life is over and our work is done. Then, in your mercy, grant us a safe lodging and a holy rest and peace at the last. Amen. The Lord's Prayer Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Our night hymn, God Who Made the Earth and Heaven. God who made the earth and heaven dark, and light, who the day for toil has given for rest the night. May thy angel guards defend us, slumber sweet thy mercy send us, holy dreams and hopes attend us this live long night. When the constant sun returning unseals our eyes, may we born anew like morning to labor rise. Gird us for the task that calls us, let not ease and self enthrall us. Strong through thee, whatever befall us, O God most wise. Commendation. In peace we will lie down and sleep. In the Lord alone we safely rest. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping. That awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. May the divine help remain with us always, and with those who are absent from us. Let us join in a moment of remembrance. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Canticle of Simeon Lord, you have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to you, O Trinity, most holy and blessed, one God, now and forever. Amen.
my friends and family in Christ, this Lent season and beyond, may the Holy and Blessed Trinity guard and bless us. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining us for this meditative compline in Lent.